Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Heading out to the gym. Today's push day, so I'm gonna do some shoulders, maybe a little bit of legs. See what's up. So, drink my protein shake. I'm heading out. Hey, 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 guys. What's up? It's Fitted here again. We're here doing the shoulder boulder workout. Shoulders is actually one of my favorite uh, body parts to work out as well, too. You know who am I kidding? I like working out the whole body. <laughs> so uh, starting on my, my shoulder workout today with the reverse per de pec deck, sorry, um, from a uh, joint to iso or isolate. So just working both sides of the traps. Um, just you know do a couple sets, and uh, I decided to superset it with the reverse shrug on the Smith machine. I actually learned this technique and move from uh, Kai Green. Uh, it really, uh, you know, you want to have the knee slightly bent. Unfortunately, you can't see it here on this angle. I'm sorry, but you want to come in slightly forward, just enough for your uh, arms to come up. And it's like you're doing a reverse sh like row, but going up. You just really squeeze the traps. You know, it's not like you're just shrugging, shrugging. You got to lean in forward and bring it up as much as you can, as you guys can see there, and just shrug it out really targets the, those trap muscles for you so um, you know as far as when it comes to shoulders I, I like to do a lot of presses you know such as the, you know, the dumbbell press which you guys will see soon but um, I like to incorporate different you know, techniques or types such as you know machines or cables um, such like that or like Smith machines but yeah, I've been focusing a lot on doing more of a like free weight, like dumbbells or barbell work uh, when it comes to my shoulders. But you know, it's just it's just trying out things, you know, just experiment, see what works for you. You know, like this uh, reverse shrug. I really like how it targets the traps. So I mean, people like different workouts. You know, it's not the perfect workout out there or, or anything to do, but Choose what you like, stick to it long enough. I mean, you got to do it long enough too. You can't just try it for one day and expect to see the results. No, you got to do it you know, time in, time out. It takes time. You just got to give it the time. You got to work it properly. And as far as uh, techniques and forms, you know, watch it over till you get it before you increase weight like I did here. On this one, I did struggle a little bit to get it up higher, but, you know, I'm trying to build some size as well too on the traps and the shoulders overall. So it's just practicing, you know, practicing, you got to try it out, fail a couple times, maybe watch some videos, watch different people, watch yourself in the mirror. I mean, just, just get out there, try it out. And right here, moving on to the uh, dumbbell shoulder press. Uh, I like to incorporate this workout all the time in my shoulder uh, workouts. And uh, as you guys can see here, I struggle a little bit to get it up. But once I get those 80 pound dumbbells up there, I'm on fire and I'm just rolling you know just get that going I, I think I did about six to eight reps just to work on the, the fullness and strength as well too um, just want to be careful I, I was alone today so I couldn't push as much weight or more weight um, than I wanted to but you know, be careful and uh, moving on to the dumbbell front raises uh, I like to do one on one, one by one. I'm sorry, and then maybe both at the same time. But this works uh, the deltoids, you know, the frontal side of the deltoids, as opposed to the dumbbell press, works more of the lateral side of the the deltoids here. So as you guys can see here as well is uh, my elbow slightly point inwards, not outwards. You don't want to flare out because although it feels like you're really getting that burn on the shoulders, it might more than that you might cause some injuries so again I'm talking from experience uh, because I went years doing the improper form and I found this uh, reduces stress and strain on my shoulders so just keep that in mind and um, yeah just uh, trying new things you know don't, don't be afraid don't be scared you know I see a lot of people out there just keep asking like well what's the perfect workout what's the perfect technique is like well just just get out there get moving you know work out you know, try new things, stick to the fundamentals, stick to your fundamentals, whatever that is. Just try out stuff uh, like right here. The Arnold presses works 
both the frontal, lateral, and back of the deltoids and the traps all in one move. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger would do this for his shoulder workouts. And uh, I like to incorporate it to my workouts because it, I've noticed it gives me a fuller uh, definition to my, my shoulders. And you want to start at a neutral grip and twist outwards, bring it back in. You want to keep your control, keep that core tight as always. And right here, the bent over flies to work the traps. Uh, when you do flies, uh, whether it be shoulders or chest or anything, uh, you don't want to do so much weight because uh, that's when your joints come into play and ligaments and tendons. So you don't want to tear those. So you got to be really careful because you know there's one thing pushing, is another thing pulling. But when you're doing angle workouts, you got to be careful with that. So. Um, you know, so, and right here, you know, check that, you go out the door. I'm uh, just challenging myself. I love to challenge myself, push myself, see what I can do. So 70-pound Arnold presses. Uh, I mean, you know, I had to drop it, as you guys can see, because, well, there you go. Again, check that, you go out the door. But, you know, I do encourage you guys to challenge yourselves. Um, if you want to go and wait, I do recommend to go with someone. If you can, get a gym buddy or uh, ask someone to spot you. But, you know, I went so many years being a... Uh, a lone wolf that I just kind of got used to it. It's a little pump for you guys right there. So going back to the dumbbell flies here for the shoulders, just really targets uh, more than the the traps. You know, it gets a little bit of the deltoids too, and, and just uh, you know do variations. I figure I'd do a more of a bent over to really contract the traps, and uh, you know you can never go wrong with some upright rows to work the top side of the shoulders you know the delts traps frontal side a little bit of the chest as well too uh, I like to get an easy curl bar so I can have my grip so you guys can see there my it's about thumb width where my thumbs meet that's where I like to keep that grip slightly neutral bring up the elbows as close uh, as you can towards the chin area and uh, like to do a little two second one second two second squeeze up there just to really you know, target that shoulders and uh, moving on to a compound lift, the military press. If you guys really want to build some size and strength and fuller flame, frame, sorry, overall, I do recommend incorporating this workout into your lifts. So, um, this one, uh, sorry, poor, poor shot here, but as you guys can see, get that barbell, about neutral grip, press it up, keep those elbows tucked in, don't flare out, you don't want to injure yourself, and doing some frontal shrugs right here. As you guys can see here, it's, slightly different movement than the reverse shrug this one is just uh you know just shrug up and down like i tell people just kind of like don't ever roll your shoulders like forward back people do that rotational move uh, that's just going to injure your shoulders i tell people just remember back when you would get home late or you do something wrong and your mom would get mad at you you just shrug to say I don't know like well why are you late I don't know I don't know so that's that's a technique I, I tell people to do when, when they do shrugs um, to really target the, the shoulders because if you start rotating you're not really doing much benefit and you just give constant injuries to your ligaments and such and uh, so right here yeah I did some three plates but I had some straps on and my grip gives up very easy Woo. when I increase size. All right, guys. Size. So that was the so, shoulder workout. Just finished up. Thanks Heading for watching, home. guys. See you guys next gonna time. Gonna eat some food to recover, and for the body to start the uh, muscle building process. So those were some examples of uh, some shoulder shoulder workouts. Um, I didn't get too crazy. I like to train a lot with supersets, but uh, today I focused. Trying to increase a little bit in size. Uh, try not to rely so much on my uh, lifting belt or my um, my wristbands or, or straps. I just want to get a better feel of far as far as my grip. I'm trying to work on my grip again. I injured my wrist not too long ago, um, so I got to slowly kind of get back in it. Slowly getting that confidence again. Um, so I took about a week off a couple weeks ago just to kind of recover. Um, also, uh, like I've mentioned before, I have an injured abdomen. Um, I hope it's not a hernia. I don't think it is, but then again, I don't know. So I got to take it easy. So this kind of wants to bring me into the uh, topic as far as uh, lifting heavy. Um, a lot of guys 
including myself, we gotta check our ego at the door. Uh, we let our ego get the best of us because we wanna always lift heavy and you know, like in social media is, oh, you, you gotta lift heavy, go beast mode. If you don't lift heavy, you ain't shit. You gotta squat three plates. If you don't squat three plates, you're nothing. If, if you don't bench press twice your weight, then you're not working hard. I mean, let's be real, that's BS. I prefer proper lifting, I prefer, prefer, sorry, proper technique, but most importantly to avoid injuries like myself. Um, a lot of my clients have been squatting, deadlifting, bench pressing properly, better and more than when I did when I started because I learned the hard way. I, I took that that ignorant road as to checking my not checking my ego at the door to just oh I gotta lift heavy to impress God knows who and nobody in the gym gives a fuck about what you lift or what you do um, so it took me some time it took me some some failures some embarrassments some injuries to learn that it's not about the weight it's about proper form proper technique and patience you gotta have patience when it comes to working out or just general in life you got to have patience but at the same time you got to work like there's like tomorrow's not coming so you go in the gym you hit it hard you eat right sleep right supplement yourself if you choose to if not then by all means it's okay but um, and rest those are the key factors to building the body that you want now not everybody wants to be a bodybuilder not everybody wants to be a Kai Green a Phil Heath um, an Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, some people just like to stay active. Some people just like to stay fit Some people prefer to be aesthetic You know like uh, Mark Anthony or um, Greg Clint um, You know so on and so forth, but uh, I mean I think the, the me to me. I'm sorry the gym is about being the best you can be And just giving it hard work patience and within time you get the physique you want Along the road, you'll start discovering what type of physique you want, whether you just want a lean physique, whether you want to be aesthetic, whether you want to be just bulky, whether you want to be a power lifter. Um, I mean, there's so many things you can do or just simply live an active life. I mean, there's no perfect body frame or, or nothing like that, but I'll tell you this much, every single type of body requires work, requires effort, requires dedication, and requires patience, most importantly. So you just gotta decide what it is you wanna do Give it time, put in the work. Um, so I guess that's that's uh, kind of what I want to cover today. If you guys have patience, you know, I tell a lot of tell a lot of guys that always ask me, oh, dude, how do I get big? How do I live heavy? How do this? How do that? It's like you know what? Take your time. Lift, lift heavy, little by little, progressively. Take baby steps. Eat more to stimulate muscle growth, but. Um, I mean, you just gotta put in the work, gotta put in the time as well. So, you know, don't try and go there and lift 300 pounds and you can barely do 100 properly. So you gotta focus on form and technique. Technique will help you lift more weight more effectively and properly. Form will avoid injuries and it'll keep you safe. Um, you can also use stuff like the wristbands or the power straps just to uh, secure yourself. Um, but that's a topic we can cover another time. So, yeah, guys, so just get out there. Hope you guys like these workouts. Check them out. Try them out. Don't forget, if you haven't followed me, social media, Instagram, at Fitted, Facebook, Fitted Fitness, or FittedFitness.com. See you guys next time. Stay fit.